Hello everyone, myself Nishita, Assistant Professor, Department of CSID, working at MLR Institute of Technology. In previous sessions, we have seen about disk scheduling algorithms, disk partitions and uh, what about swap space management. So, in this session, we are going to see about stable storage implementation. So, let us see the overview of this presentation. So, in this, we are going to see about stable, uh, stable storage implementation. So, stable storage implementation is nothing but how the storage of the data is stable and how we are going to implement in the CPU at which place and what the memory is uh, occurring due to stable. So, let us see. By the information residing, the stable storage is never lost. So, whatever the information is in the CPU or in the memory, that will be never lost. Even if the disk and the CPU have some errors, it will never lo lo lose any data. So, when the disk or any CPU having some errors, the data which, he, which is inserted or uh, which is in the CPU and the disk, that will be never lost. That is what about stable storage, that will be constant. It will be never be get lost or get retrieved. The data, it will be safe. So, stable storage implementation. To achieve such storage, we need to replicate the required information on multiple storage devices with independent failure modes. So, whatever you are placing the data in the CPU or any disk, so the data files, so that will be never lost. So, based on the storage of multiple storage devices, that may be occurring some independent failure modes. So, that may consist some independent failures. So, failures may occur, but the data never lose or lost. The writing of an update should be coordinate in such a way that it would not delete all the copies of the state. So, oh, whatever you are writing an update in the files and that can be coordinate with the files which you are saved and that will be never be deleted and that copies are in the safe state. And we are recovering from a failure, we can force all the copies to a consistent and correct value even if another failure occurs during the recovery. So, whatever you are inserting the data, whenever the failure occurs, you want to retrieve that data. The data will be recovering or it will be lost. The data never gets lost. It will be under safe. That is what how this stable storage implements. So, the disk write operations result to one of the following outcomes. So, the outcome of this disk is successful completion, partial failure, total fail. So, the data which you are placing on this disk that may consist some three. It, will, it may be a successful, it may be a partial, it may be a complete failure. So, whatever the data, uh, the data which you are placing in the disk it is maybe compulsory, the successful may happen or the partial failures may occur or any totals of the data may get lost. So, these three cases will be occurring in the outcome of this disk. So, what do I mean by successful completion? The data will be written correctly on the disk. So, whatever you are writing in the data that will be correctly uploaded in the disk and it will be under safe. So, what do I mean by partial failure? In this case, failure has occurred in the middle of the data transfer such that only some sectors were written with the new data. So, whenever you are writing some data, at the middle of the data transfer, some sectors may have some new, da new data and the sectors which were written during the failures may be corrected. So, whatever you are writing in the middle of the inserting or writing the data, the failure may occur and the data gets corrupted. So, this is what some occurring of partial failures. So, what I mean by total failure? The failure occurred before the disk write started. So, the previous data values on the disk remains intact. So, intact means totally it gets failure. 
so whatever you are uh, inserting or writing the data when you are starting so the previous data values on the disk remains intact intact means that will be gets failure or corrupted so this is comes and a total data gets failure next during writing a block somehow if failure occurs so when you are writing n number of blocks if the failure occurs the system's first work is to detect the failure so whenever even if you are uh, attacking some networks network issues the failures may occurs and we may detect some data or we need to retrieve that data how this happens how we are going to retrieve how the errors are modified how are uh, how the errors are rectified and then invoke a recovery process to restore the consistent state so you need to invoke or recover the recovery the process to the consistent state to do that the system must contain two physical block for each logical block so it can it should contain two physical blocks for each logical block so it should contains two physical blocks and for this physical blocks it should contain each logical block this is what how we are going to rectify the when the failure happens so an output operation is executed for the following stable storage implementation so execution of this output operation writing on first physical block so you are writing some data on first physical block then it completes its uh, writing or inserting the data writing on second physical block so next in this first physical block this is second physical block so you are writing some data and it gets completes whereas in second you are writing some declare operations that gets completed so this is what how the process executes each and everything by one by one according to the output operation this is what how the execution done for this table storage implementation so in this session we have see, seen about table storage implementation so what do i mean by successful implementation means successful and what do i mean by partial failure and what do i mean by total failure and what is the output of this table storage implementation if you have any doubts you can comment in comment box thank you